Over the past week, hundreds of firefighters have been deployed to the southwest of France to try to contain two massive wildfires that have already consumed some 15,000 hectares across this region. Local authorities say they have the elements against them. And for residents here, 15,000 of whom have been evacuated on Monday, this is a personal tragedy, with many saying they have no idea what happens next. Yes, this is the first time. How do I feel? Well, like for everyone else, it's, it's stressful. But I believe that we all prefer to be active rather than not to be home. Volunteers have come, and despite it all, we are happy to stay in our village. It's painful, but we keep telling ourselves this is our home. But we are happy to be able to help and be present and see our town come together. Locals have turned a cultural house into a coordination center from where they gather donations and try as best they can to support those fighting for their towns. We have been here for five or six days, from the start really. And it's true that the firefighters are happy to come to this base where we try to take care of them. We even offer them massages. Strong winds on Monday evening have slowed down efforts of firefighters, making their difficult task even more complicated. They were forced to change positions multiple times throughout the day and the evening. Authorities have also decided to cut trees to prevent the fire from spreading, especially closer to villages. This in the biggest area of forest land in France, where the environmental impact of these fires will be felt for generations to come. Annelise Borges in southwestern France for Euronews.